Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Theo here. On today's video, I'm going to show you all the options and features of my 2014 Porsche Cayman S behind me. So, let's go. As you know, a few weeks ago, I purchased this car and actually started introducing it on the channel. Yes, this is a fantastic car and on today's video, I'm going to really show you all the options and features of the car, really tell you what made me decide to purchase this specific Cayman S. The Cayman S is a fantastic BMW and yes, a lot of people think that the Cayman is a poor man 911, but today I'm going to show you that it is not the case because the numbers and figures that this car can do on the track really some of them are even better than the porsche 911 so let's go in depth into this uh, you know review of my porsche cayman s The Cayman S is a beautiful car. This car has an engine on the back, not back back like the 911, mid-size engine, meaning like a Ferrari, like the Lamborghini, mid-engine, like the new Corvette, mid-engine, meaning that it's sitting right a little above the rear axle. And this car is a 3.4 liters and it delivered 325 horsepower routed to the back wheels right there. Yes, this car is a six-speed manual, as you guys already know from the introduction video. And this car, zero to 60, is done in 4.2 seconds. Now, 4.2 seconds, that's the same time that the Porsche 911T, which is 2019, is doing. Yes, this car is a 2014, but has the same number as a 2019 Porsche T. Porsche T is usually, as you know in the forum, is called the Baby GT3, so this car has the same number. Now, this car is lighter, just like that car, it's 1320 kilograms, and trust me, 0 to 100, it does it in 10 seconds. Now, gas consumption is not bad with this car because it averages 22 miles per gallon. Yes, this blue thing right here is doing all these numbers same as some of the 911. The previous owner, actually the first owner of this car did not spec this car lightly. It is not a base car because it has a bunch of nice features or options that are available with this specific vehicle. So let me list you some. It has a Bose Entertainment sound system. It has the Sport Chrono, which provides you Sport Plus and also rev matching. You will be able to see that button in a second when we talk about the inside of the car. It has this beautiful 20 inch Carrera S wheels. The one thing I have to mention is that although it has the Carrera S wheels, but the specs are different. On the 911, these are 11 inch wide if you have the wide body but in here they actually 9.5 inches wide so although they look the same but they don't have the same specs now this car is also has this beautiful sapphire blue metallic color man this is what one of the things that made me fall in love with this specific car is the fact that it has this nice lovely blue now another thing is that it has the model design delete meaning it doesn't say cayman s on the back case only says porsche as you can see normally you will have a cayman s in the back here but this one doesn't list it and it also have of course the pse which is the performance port exhaust from porsche from factory so let me show you how this exhaust sound
of the options that I listed earlier were just the factory option that came with this car. Now, in addition, this car also is equipped, as you can see, with this GT4 spoiler. Well, this is not the factory GT4 spoiler because the factory will not have these two screws right here. This is pretty much what we call the replica or the GT4 style exhaust. But this is actually made by a nice company. I actually need to find out which company made it. I'm going to link it in the description in case you're interested to purchase this. But this is really looking nice. And this car also has, as you can see here, tent. I'm not sure what percentage, but it's looking nice, but I'm pretty sure it's above 35%. And this car also has a ceramic pro done on the whole entire car. That's why it looks so shiny like this. And it also have the full expel front protection, meaning that if you look carefully, you can see some lines where the expel like right here. I'm not sure if the camera is picking up. This is really the line where the expel is ending. So all this front of the car is protected with the expel clear bra. This car being a Cayman and a Porsche means that it definitely has a frunk and a trunk. Now the front to open it simply we do this and we push the lever down here and we have access to the front which is actually pretty deep for a front. This is the car cover right here and yeah man I like this the fact that you have this front where you can put groceries or items or whatnot and you also have a trunk on the back just like any normal car. Let me go ahead and open that for you. Now, this specific car had the reinforced, uh, I'm not sure if this is called strut or whatever these uh, things are, because you have these wings that is actually, you know, more heavier. So we had to reinforce, get the GT4, you know, suspension thing, whatever you call this, <laughs> these things to hold the trunk when it's open now on the back here again you have a nice little space well you cannot put too much things here on the back compared to the front and in the Cayman this is really where the engine resides I believe here you put coolant and here you put um, your oil whenever you do work on the Cayman well everything happens in there because this is the heart of the car this is the engine and when you say when they say mid engine is because the engine is right here on the 911 you don't have all this space because the engine on the 911 is actually sitting like right here meaning that this back where i have this right here is where the engine will be that's because on the 911 you have back seats right here because the engine is pushed further down that for that reason the 911 doesn't handle the same way as the cayman because the cayman is just mid engine this is why the gt4 rs that just that is coming out is you know is taking the on internet taking the car community because it is just perfect with a gt3 engine midsize is getting great 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 numbers now in terms of storage space on the back here you have that right here you also have that right there where you can store you know little item you have this now this lead me to the transition on the inside so let's go inside and talk about some of the things that i like about this specific car this specific Cayman S does not have the extended leather so as a result you have this you know trim right here which is pretty bland so one thing I'm gonna do probably in the future is kind of change this to kind of have that leather because I do like a little bit of luxury on the on the you know Porsche right this same material extend all the way here on the dash and on the other side now this seat are the manual adjustable seat as you can see I have manual controller this is the only electrical part so probably in the future i might change it to like the sport seat or the newer version of the cayman seat because these are nice but i prefer a little light leather seat and maybe bucket seat if i could afford those now this is the sport steering wheel and it looks so nice now when you come inside the car you have these two buttons here this is to open the front this is to open the actual trunk and of course you have three pedals right here and man let me actually sit down oh lord this is gorgeous this is what you see on a daily basis you have navigation also sport chrono gives you this clock and it gives you the sport plus button this is a sport button this is just to raise the spoiler on the back this is the psc exhaust start stop uh, feature whenever the car is you know like a traffic light and this shifter man i don't know how i can replicate this feel 
I hope you can hear this sound. Mechanical, it is amazing. Shifting with this is so, so, so good. Now this car also has heated seat and it has navigation. These are just some of the options. Now this car has the Bose, as I mentioned, you see the Bose logo right here. Let me close the door. Now, in terms of visibility, this car does not have the best visibility, especially with that big wing. Because when I look at the back, this is literally what I see on the back here. I see the gigantic wing that is there. So whenever I'm doing reverse and the fact that this car also does not have back sensors, I have to be extra, extra, extra careful. But this shifting... Oh my God, this is, this is crazy. This is... This is crazy. Now, you would think that this car does not have cup holders. Well, if you want a cup holders, you press this button right here, and then this will be the driver, and this will be the passenger. Then you can actually close it this way. Over engineering little things like cup holders. Why don't you just have it somewhere here in the middle? Well, ask Porsche engineering design team, and they will be able to answer that question. Uh oh, I hope I didn't break that. Okay there you are now let me open the door again so that you can see a few things now on the back here you have this little storage you also have this little compartment where you can keep things that's why i keep my sunglasses and then uh, you do have a glove compartment down here and you do have some nets I'm not sure if i can show that you have some nets here where you can keep specific item down there uh, i'm not sure if i have one on this side nope nothing on this side that's about all the space you get man that's it that's all the space you get on this car this is a two-seater and an amazing amazing vehicle this is my visibility literally pov this is uh pov this is really what you will see with this specific car now you see why i decided to pick up this specific car because this car is a driver car you have a car that is in the mid 50 to 60k that can provide you these numbers that the 911t will have and also look like a supercar because trust me i drove this car for the past what two weeks now and i have so much compliment this is crazy i've had my f80 m3 for two years and i had less compliment than this car maybe because it's a porsche maybe because it's blue maybe because it have a gigantic wing on the back i am not sure but i love this car dearly and i'm actually going to make another video like a pov video really driving give you my driving impression i didn't want to make this video too long by doing that right now so next video probably on this car is going to be my driving impression more sound clip on the inside of the cabin what i listen if i like induction noise and all, all of that but for now this is it man this car is beautiful and i love it i love it man when that engine is screaming when you're around like 6,000 rpm <laughs> oh lord it is crazy yes every time i go out i want to drive this car because it's just so much fun if a 6 m3 is not going anywhere and i love that car and i have a lot of content also a lot of parts coming for the e for the three and e for the six m3 so stay tuned i also have a bunch of parts already that I ordered for this car so stay tuned to see all the transformation that this car will take but before that i'm going to do that pov just so that you can have really my impression and what it's like to drive this car you know with all the modes like normal sport and sport plus yeah that is coming but in the meantime let me go drive this car have some fun so see you on the next video. Bye-bye.